Good day everyone, my name is Vanda Cronier. I am the Culinary and Wine Studies Lecturer at IHT Hotel School. Um, I'm not going to give you wine today, however we are going to do some quick recipes and I've got an assistant today who is Courtney Cassett. She will introduce herself. Um, she is one of my first year students and obviously there's a reason why she's here. Hello, I'm Courtney Gassett. I am currently studying at IHT Hotel School. I'm hoping to enter the hospitality industry and I'm currently thoroughly enjoying my cooking experiences. See, so that's why I'm using it. <laughs> so we have got a theme today. Our theme is DIY or we are in lockdown, as you all know. So let's cook with what we've got because often that is an excuse for, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that. Everything that we are using today is going to take you less than five minutes and also everything that I'm going to do today is stuff that you've got at home. Today we are making cheese. Yes, really, I'm making cheese. So for the cheese, what we need is we need some full cream milk. You can't use low fat, it has to be full cream. We need some vinegar. Now I use white wine vinegar and the reason why we use white wine vinegar is because white wine vinegar has got a lower acidity level than acetic acid, which is just spirit vinegar. Courtney, what other vinegars do we get? Cider vinegar and balsamic vinegar, which is traditionally a wine. Yes, see, so it matches into what I do. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make some cheese. So basically we're doing this on an induction plate, which is just controlled heat. Obviously you can use electricity or you can use gas, whichever you've got at home. So what we do is we just pour the milk into the pot. We will then heat it up, okay. And then what we do is we just bring it to just below boiling point. You don't want it to boil because then it breaks the bands. To that, we will then add a little bit of salt. And then we allow it to just heat up. Just before we take it off the heat, what we will do is we will add some vinegar to it. And it only, it's about three tablespoons of vinegar. What will then happen is the curds will actually start forming. So it looks as if the milk is splitting. So let me show you what it looks like when the milk splits. And this is what you end up with. Looks disgusting, doesn't it? But this is not where the magic ends. So what we then do in here, you'll see I've just got a dish towel, I've got a bowl and I've got a sieve. So we will then just pour this through here. There we go. That is off so I can just put it back on there. And we will then just allow the liquid to seep out. 